Hi guys, this is Dr. Shushanta Bhanja, National Level Faculty of Pediatrics and Neonatology. With me, Dr. Indira V, who secured 449 marks in NIP SS Pediatrics 2022. And the rank is 3, a fantastic rank. Congratulations, Dr. Indira. Tell me something about yourself. Uh, I'm Dr. Indira. I completed my pediatrics uh, two years back, MD pediatrics two years back. Okay. I was working in a private hospital in Chennai. Then I uh, started preparing for NEET uh, last year. I gave an attempt the previous time, but I was not prepared at that time. So this time I sincerely prepared and this was the first time I actually started studying. Okay, okay. Please share your exam experience this time. Means, uh, what, what are the question patterns and all the things? This time? Uh, actually, question. this time the pattern was a little different. Previous time we had 100 questions. This time it was 150 questions. 150. The uh, most of the questions were uh, clinical oriented. That was the main thing which I felt after seeing the yeah. question. Uh, mm -hmm. Like they were mostly case scenarios or uh, some basic investigations. Uh, and many image based questions were also asked in the exam, like a few urine microscopy samples and uh, CTMRI. All those things were asked. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, like uh, the case scenarios were more like uh, most of the questions, almost 70 to 80 percent were based on some case. Some they you, they gave some history right. and asked us to diagnose all those things. So, right. Right. Uh, when actually when did you uh, start the preparation? Means how was the journey? Uh, preparation, I Success. I was preparing uh, for the past six seven six months I, that is after the last counseling only i started my preparation and uh, the last uh, two months i prepared um, full fledged like i sat at home and i prepared fully for the last two months of this uh, exam okay. okay you are working any hospital uh, i i was working sir initially i was working in a private hospital then i did an observership in pediatric cardiology department in triple m hospital but then when I was working there only, I realized that it is better to do my super speciality and then go into the department. So I, I took it. a time off and then I started preparing for the exam. Okay. Okay. So yes, which book uh, would you suggest to practice the exam? Actually, uh, the main, uh, I mean, the whole question pattern was based on Nelson. But yeah. I use that and also I studied your notes primarily, sir, for uh, revision and all. Um, I I went through your the three volumes which were provided yeah. and also so I it was it was very good. Like uh, most of the points were uh, from I mean, were given in point points. So it was easy for me to uh, revise when I studied later also. So once I went through all the notes initially, then uh, at the time of revision also, I used them. Okay, okay. What is the strategy to use the app? Means there are uh, three sections, video session, queue bank and test series. So uh, for me, uh, I, because I started a little late, I was not able to finish all the videos. So at least the major topics, I tried to see the videos, the rest I studied from the notes and uh, a okay. little bit of Nelson also, I tried to study just the main topics which were asked repetitively. Those topics, I tried to study Nelson and also see your videos. The rest, I just went through your notes and then um, the main thing I did was the question bank, sir. The question bank was very good. So I was um, when I did the question bank, I was able to understand what, what my level of knowledge was. So with that, I was able to prepare. So the next time when I studied the same topic, I knew what all were my lacunae. So I was able to focus more on those areas. So I think the it helped me a lot. Okay, and the key bank was mostly on clinical oriented key bank. So yes, sir. It yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. What is your plan now? In so which branch of this? Um, I am actually interested in pediatric cardiology, sir. Okay. So, um, I will apply for that. So. Okay. What is your advice to your juniors? Those who are just uh, started uh, for this journey. 
the main thing is many people told that uh, any i mean immediately after pg after doing your pg if you try to write the exam you will score more if you leave a gap it will be very difficult but then i think at any point of time if we really want to do it if we really feel like doing it i think we can crack so just the it, more focus is needed um, most of us will be working and it will be difficult to juggle both but um, uh, they should be able to um, give more uh, priority to studying so if they if they want, really want to study then maybe at any point of time they should uh, start studying and mainly uh, what to study is also a big problem, sir. Yes. For uh, pediatrics, the materials are very, very less. And uh, guidance provided is also, um, it is not like other subjects. Uh, whatever materials we have are very less. But uh, uh, with this, we should be, um, I mean, these are actually sufficient for us to crack the exam. So we should make use of whatever is available and uh, study. So... And they definitely there are focus chapters and focus. Yes, yes, sir, topics. sure. Uh, certain topics, like for example, um, this uh, they this in this question paper, I felt uh, more weightage was given for systemic pediatrics rather than for uh, general yes. pediatrics. Yes. So even see, even when we if we study if we study more of general pediatrics and go, then it might not be of use for us. So. The topics which actually carry weightage, I think we should focus more on that. Maybe if they start seeing the videos or start reading from notes, they will know what they have to focus on. Like so in nephrology, purpose. there are certain chapters. Yes, yes, sir. So like a butter syndrome and every uh, every chapter has some weightage areas which I was not able to identify the last time. Because I did not have much uh, experience, but this time after joining the classes and all, I was able to actually locate uh, what the weightage topics were and what was important for NEET SS as such. So I think uh, that will be better. They should focus more on the topics which actually carry weightage. Yes, and the another important is what about revision? Should revise at least two to three times. No? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I um I did my revision in the sense I um, as soon as I finished my studying in the, the last one month I um spent mostly for my revision and uh, doing my question bank and also mock test I used to do on and off uh, whenever I used to find time I will do something and question bank also I made it a point to do at least 50 to 50 questions minimum per day so oh, that um, uh, whatever point. I want, whatever I learned, only when I did the questions, I I was actually able to identify if I really know what was in that topic. Right. So I think uh, revision is a must. Whatever we read, uh, we will forget when the exam is nearing. So with whatever uh, knowledge, I mean, the last 15 days at least, it is a must to revise whatever we have studied. Good. Okay. So the key method is you read uh, Nelson and definitely have to revise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, when I even even though I read Nelson, I was not able to revise the whole thing from Nelson. So at that point of time, I used the notes only for revision. So that was actually very easy for me because most of the important points were almost all the important points were there in the notes. So uh, revision with this was little quicker. So I was able to finish two revisions uh, before I went to the exam. Okay. Do you want to dedicate to someone? Yes, sir. Surely it is because of the support of my family only. Uh, their constant support and uh, encouragement only made me get this rank because the, you know, without the support at this point of time, I did not earn at that point of time. But still my parents, my in-laws and my husband, they were all very, very supportive. Oh, that was the reason I was able to get this act. Okay, once again, congratulations. Thank uh, you, Dr. thank Mindeja. you. Thank you, thanks a lot. God bless you.